Hello folks, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I have found the Van Noyes. They're, uh... Talk to May. Talk to May? Hi, May. Neoka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. No paddle? I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Yeah. I suppose y'all are busy right now. Nope. Uh, ba, ba, ba. there's always something to look for guys. No, I'm here to secure printer press, but that can wait. Let's get you out of here. I appreciate the sentiment, stranger. But we need to keep you. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out, and Jensen can't see straight. Okay. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. Ah. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Any idea where he went? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Got it. Let's see if I can find him. Um, I I can I'm I'm, I'm a doctor. Damn it! <laughs> hey, friend. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, these guys are kind of tough. Everyone all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, that's south. This is north. Ah, hello, friends. You suckers are all dead. Oh, you're not dead. Uh, I hope that's not the medic. I fear that might be the medic. Shit. That's the medic. The euthanasia kit. That's not a kit. That's a gun. Well, shit. He dead. Right, I'll secure the printing press in a bit. Any luck out there? Yeah, uh -huh. find your trauma crit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. I, I, I can help. I have medical skills. No, nope, guess not. Okay, we're going in on our own, but that probably means that they won't get killed. Probably. Terror One Publications. Slices, dices, cord Uh, This place si seems to be full of friends. Impact Hammer Mark II. Safety announcement draft. Let's convey safety standards around our conveyor. Don't be a fool around the spools. Plasma launcher. No. Um. Oh, have you guys leveled up? Yes, you have. Increase the damage dealt by this companion for a short time after performing the companion ability. Yeah, let's use that. Can we... Yeah. Okay. Pavati! 274. No, that'll do. 
Uh, what's yours? Damage after companion ability. Harmful status effects. Yeah, th so these all seem to be the same. Increase your engineering skill while Pavati's in the party. Don't think we really need that. So, same thing for that. Right. Hello, workbench. Bonk! 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 Libations on me, folks. Yes. Libations on me. Nicely done. Heavy grade face mask. Plus five determination. Okay. Junk. Ju I must remember to sell junk. Actually, I don't uh, don't do it very often. Sneaky. You can't see us. Ah. This door is not open, Headmaster. Shoot. Bonk! Here we go. Go. Blind! Here they come. Here we go. Bong. 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 Yeah, I'm fine. A bit corroded, but otherwise, okay. I don't know why I bother keep picking up all this ammo. It is basically worth the ooh, chrono field aggregator. Don't know what that is. Probably something good, but if it's consumable, I'll probably never use it. Because that's how I've been rolling so far. Resignation from Caden Schuster. He's a happy bunny. A lot of hackable things here. That's a big one. Great work. But not a huge amount of cash, to be fair. Still, I suppose any cash is better than no cash. Uh, UDL masks. Oops. Not appropriate for workplace environments. Huh. Hmm. So the plant shut down because of the rollers degrading due to the sulfur in the air. Maybe. There's still something in here. I just saw it show up on the... Uh... Grenade launcher? I'm tempted to give Pavati the grenade launcher. You ran this corner. Yes, you are. Bong! Bong! That missed. They're all after the pasta. 
Fun Times Barrel. It's weird. It feels like I'm not doing as much damage to these things. Maybe they're just resistant to... Ah, that's that door. That's where I need to go. Adreno. More Adreno. Hello, Terminal. Terry's birthday? No, we are not celebrating Terry's birthday. Terry's dead, folks. Don't pet the canids. We're leaving. The board has decided to cut their losses and operate on Terra 2 instead. Ah. Hmm. Okay. More world building. There's a lot of world building in this game. Oh, well, galaxy building, I suppose. All right, install rollers. Hurrah! We have succeeded in doing a basic task. Woohoo! I can still hear fireworks going off. It's what? It's the 9th of November today. Um, so yeah, we, we've got bonfire night fireworks still going off. A little bit late, in my opinion. Um, as long as they don't go... It can do that. All it takes is a little bit of black powder next to a lot of bits of fertilizer and one real hot day, and whoa, I've seen it happen. I don't know what's more unsettling the concept of my ammunition spontaneously combusting or the fact that this is the kind of thing you think about on the regular. Uh, yes, Pavata, you are strange, cute but strange. If you'll just listen, no, no more listening, no more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? What? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. Foolish, ah, uh, like what? Bring. Uh, you mean cruiser, right? There's only one. If there are gunships, they sure didn't stop me from landing here. They are armed all the same. All they need is a good reason, and war is one such reason. Is that what you're arguing about? We're out of time. We need food and ammunition. We need to hit Stellar Bay while we still have the manpower to do it. Why? That seems desperate. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My people are dying left and right. Are they really doing better than you are? Because they're still a base, a bit of a shithole as well. Doubtful. But we don't need much. And Sanjar isn't going to share. Uh, You want to attack the city? Yes. I know it's drastic. But it's clear that Sanjar... Oh, damn it. Cooperate. And if it's him or us, I choose us. I've been to the printing press. That's clear. Excellent. Did you find the Vanoys? I did. They're on the way back. They're lucky I got there in time. Lucky indeed. Thank you. We're one step closer to oh. bringing the truth to every man. This guy's single-mindedness is annoying me. For now, you can tell Hiram that I'll stop using Devil's Peak. From the pits of our eternal souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Captain. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. You've just time. been saying that your men Let's are dying. Hey, I need to see to the wounded. But drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. 
Right. Let's go and have a word with Zora. Because she seems like she's got a sensible bone in her body. What was the other thing that we just picked up? Oh, that swish. But I've just modded that. Uh, mm. But that is certainly the swish looking. I mean, that just looks ridiculous, frankly. Uh, but I've got the, the dialogue skills thing in this. And then to be fair, dialogue skills plus five is not a huge number. Melee weapon skills plus five. Plus ten. That's plus fifteen total, is it? Not sure that's taken into account. No, it won't be, because you haven't equipped it, you moron. Yeah, 65. So that gives us... It, it doesn't seem to unlock the base skill thing, but it changes our damage. Our crit chance, in fact. Huh... I don't want to get into a position where I have to swap out stuff for dialogue versus combat. Because that never ends well. Uh, where is Zora based? I'm assuming she's in here. Or she would be if she'd made it here. Hey. Just need to wait for her to walk. Until then. Oops. Oopsie. Right, Zora. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush hush. Uh huh. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? No. Stella came through Edgewater once. But Pavati does. Something to my dad about pirates wiping out a town? You mean this is the same place? Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrapped nest. Right. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize a door. It, it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Um, a random door code doesn't sound useful. I know it's a long shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Why are we keeping this to ourselves? Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends ah. who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. But he's a dick. Well, no. Uh, go to the relay station to see if the code's useful. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantis. Of course it is. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. And I still think that's a bad idea. I'm on it. I appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything. Sucker bait. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, they'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the tarot. One thing that I will say is that normally in big RPGs like this, the side quests um, tend to get a little bit annoying after a time. 
because they're not always that well written or that interesting. Up to this point, we've mostly been doing side quests. Uh, and I am still very much entertained by them. Um, don't want that. I want that. And this is exactly my point, you know, that the side quests are still entertaining. Uh, I guess here. You know, that the fact that the quests make me want to do them um, is generally a good sign because a lot of the times... I do not need a drink. Uh, you know, a, a lot of the times I'll just think, ah, uh, I want to carry on with the main quest and see what happens. But because they're given by characters that you've been helping as part of the main quest, it kind of inspires me to, to want to do them when we get to them, even though it's once again taking us off track. And I don't mind. I'm fine. Ah. A terminal. Enter code. Right. There's some pickables. Great work. Ooh. Hello, hello, bit cartridges. An old data cartridge. Information. The ring, more shunts, some picks, thug kits. Hemlock's eye patch. Damage plus ten percent. Oh no! Now I have to decide. That this is terrible news. Now I have to decide between my cool hat and my eye patch. This eye patch is comfortable, stylish, stylish, and a conversation piece. Also available in mauve and top. What's it look like? Ah, yes. But but my persuade skill. Simple, classic, time-honoured, the top hat, the most venerable of all headwear. Uh, to be fair, though, I do kind of have... I do have lie and intimidate and stuff up to a fairly high level anyway. Uh, Devil's Peak is receiving. Whole place stinks of sulfur. We've got signal. Something's wrong with the caverns. Workplace accident in the caverns. Referendum results. Screw that Bryant fella. Well, was it was that it? Was that what we wanted? Yes, it was. The data cartridge. Nothing on the terminal. What do you think of the unreliable Parvati? There's always something to fix, and it's neat working in the Aether. I always took Atmo for granted. Now, if I drill through the hull, we all suffocate. Exciting, you know. I, I'm not sure I wanted to know that. Being in space sets me on edge enough. You know about stellar emissions? A actually, I probably shouldn't tell you about those. I mean, not unless you want to know how we're all likely to get spacers long. Right. Okay. When we get back to the ship, I'm drinking this conversation right out of my recollection. Good plan. Welcome back. Did you find I did. Out there? I found 
A box of data cartridges. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondence is between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... Oh. Letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. Oh, snap! He caused the attack. Yeah. He did. It really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. So I'm assuming at some stage, the world state will change and we'll... Or maybe we need to, to do other quests first. Um, but we'll be able to come back and continue on. And this is what I'm saying about the, the, the side quests. Yeah, you know, we could have just left it at that, the main quest. And and never come back and, you know, talk to her again. But that's not how it's working. To the map. Right, now we do need to go back to Stella Bay. Uh, uh, uh. It's Vizzo! Sandra! I don't know what it is, but my gun's been acting funny. It used to be I had to correct for a bit of leftward drag. Got used to standing just so, and after a while, it put a thorn in my side, something awful. Lately, though, it ain't pulling. I find myself... Pavati, have you fixed her gun for her? Oh, that's real good to hear. It took me a while to... Uh, uh never mind. What? Girl, have you been touching my stuff? I'm sorry, I should have asked. I just got real bored, and I seen you leaning, and the gun was sitting right there. You know, the last time I caught someone messing with my equipment, I threw them in a sulfur pool. But I appreciate the help. You want to make modifications, just come ask me, all right? I ain't gonna bite. This is why I keep Pavati around. She can't keep her hands to herself, and it, it, it amuses me. Sanja! Well, Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Business turns up at last. Uh, no. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? He's often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. No, you have a meeting with me. Did you hear that power play? <laughs> they don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what do you If you s keep you talking about moistened loins, I'm charting my own path. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Halcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Why do you go there? Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for salt. We are not. I am afraid not. If I have to eat one more weird science project passed off as food in this sprat colony, I'm going to stab someone. Um, Afraid not. Oh, a shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Uh-huh. What exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. Yeah. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. I don't... 
Dang it, Captain, that's not right. Folks, I do agree. Have to suffer just the board are clearly the villains. Well, we kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off the books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? I can tell your iconoclast friends have left their mark on you. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. Uh. So, what do you mean to do about it? Well... Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to Oh, Celia. On our terms, mind you. You're very naive. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. Oh, uh, really? And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Oh, uh, really? A lady knows what's going on. It's true. Our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. Uh -huh. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach. And the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Ah! You do seem to have a bit of a raptidum problem. And a mantisaur problem. And a marauder problem. Many, many problems. But they can all be solved with a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. But... And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Hmm. But if the Iconoclasts are going to attack the city, and we upgrade the defences, it's going to be a massacre. What is a Bolt 52? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Once you've got it, what's the other part of the plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get like ahead of what? myself. Like what? You do tend to do that. <laughs> the Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days, it's overrun with marauders and raptor dogs. Surprise! Why do I not have enough perception? Oh, because I haven't got enough skill. I'll see what I can find. So taciturn, so dour. <laughs> I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Oh. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Oh. What can I do for you? Uh. Need I decide to stop broadcasting? You're just as rigid as the old executive committee. Why, we've hardly been able to get a clear message out until recently. When Graham finally shut up. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. Uh-huh. There must be another way. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. Uh. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. Okay. Uh, I met Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Uh, he did a bang-up job. Well, that's excellent. Can't remember. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Well, actually, I think he mentioned something about passing on to his review. Right, time to go. Uh, not that way, though. <laughs> this way! Huh. I am torn. I am torn about the nature of this quest. That's a faction quest. Yeah, so we... So we put a stop to the Iconoclast stuff. But we need to start earning MSI's trust, I think. 
Either way, the, the side quests or the faction quests are entertaining and therefore I shall keep on doing them. Uh, and we need to go to this building over here. Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Yum! Bonk! What? Hello. Where's the entrance? Oh, it's over there. I thought I saw. I did. Hey, you. Hold on, is my weapon really badly damaged or something? Oh, it's down to 87%. It seems like it's really doing a lot less damage. Maybe it's just my imagination. View executive reviews. Sanjar has a bad habit of padding his reports with numbers and stats. Not very good. Presentations tend to be dry and lacking in emotional appeal. Needs improvements. Graham. Hack. Graham's understanding of product messaging and branding is impressive, especially for a relatively low level editor. Issues with brevity and shows consistent disregard for prescribed fonts and formats. Subverses his undertones. Dora. Recommend for promotion. Oh. So he wants pe he wants it deleted. Why does he want that deleted? I wonder. Something. Something suspicious there. Oh, can I not? Oh, there we go. I just needed a run up. So much. Ooh. Stuff. Ollie Ollie, toxy free. I do like the game's sense of humor. Hello? Wait, can I your boot? No. Snarl like a raptor. I don't think they figured that out yet. Who are you? Oh, thank the eternal. I'm Huxley. Hello? Uh, Huxley. Oh, people have been I'm asking sorry. about her. My friends and I were scavenging here and a mad queen showed up. They um, it was Graham and what's the faces, wasn't it? I ran in here and um, now the door's locked. Little help? I need to get in that room, but maybe I'll let you star first. You got locked in how? Easier than it sounds, all right? Next time you get chased by Raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decision. I didn't mean to offend you. Well, I need to get into the room. Thanks, lady. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. And I just hacked the door. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Yay. 
Uh, I think I found it. Guess we already got it. Hello. You look a lot like many of the other NPCs in the game. Lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Wonderful. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Good times. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh? Oh, they know each other. Oh, hi, Mioka. Um, do you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm. Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Uh. You sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and. <laughs> Hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Uh... Good luck. Or shall I? Normally when you help someone, they give you something. No. Thanks a lot, lady. I'm not going to press you for rewards. Alt 52. And now, now you might be thinking, oh, he's going to go straight back to Stella Bay and sort that out. I said, no, he is not. Now, if I can remember where it is, no, no, to Amber Heights. Because I want to see, first of all, if Hooks has made it back okay. But I want to see if... if this information. Walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on straight. I want to see if um, the information that I found on the computer can be. Welcome. I know you're responsible for the Amber Heights massacre. I have some questions for you. All right. Hmm. Why have you come? Good question. I was hoping. I was hoping to steal your stuff. No, I, I was hoping that I'd be able to do something with the uh, the information on that those terminals if I didn't wipe it. But it does not seem. Where is... They're just playing I Spy. Took a need him. Looks like I'm not the only ah. face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Uh, it's Captain Hawthorne. You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? No. You're Agnes's little boy. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me. I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my danger. throat. Danger? Don't go play with friends. Vantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Wow. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Great parenting. Waters can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. Wow. At Forty-two years. Forty-two. Old, he's like four years older than me. Little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it. I tell you. Okay. Uh. Persuade. Running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you're grown up. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? Teach her the Iconocast philosophies? Uh, yeah, show her the skills that you've learned. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. 
I have leveled up. Anything useful on your terminal? Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't science it. Uh, just random XP. Don't have enough science to deal with that last one. But whatever. Random XP. Ash. Rioter. Raptor on brains. Delicious. Don't think anybody's in here. Um, where's Hux then? I guess she hasn't made it back. Good jumping skills there. Ah, oh, there you are. Ah, oh, hello. Good to see you again. Hi. I found your terminal. Fixed it up for you. In Milton's place? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Me and my diary have got some catching up to do. Nice. Hey, you made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except, Except being accidentally in locked in another room. How are you holding up? Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg foot area. Where does my foot end and my left Ankle? Begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back. You twisted your ankle. The leg foot area. Uh, without the kicking, I assume. Huh? Why? Your leg? Oh, ha. You're funny. Yes. Uh, how'd you hurt your leg? Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get really? from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop. Yeah, home. they leash. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up, but good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void. <laughs> a rock. A rock. Not even a slippery one. How long will you be out of commission? Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. So is it here. See you around. Speaking of seeing people around, I've gone over in this episode, so I will hopefully see you fine folks around as we continue on with doing whatever we're doing next. Yeah, wipe any terminals in the building. I'm kind of tempted not to do that. I shall make a decision for next time. I'm going to go and spend these skill points and stuff as well. Thank you all very much for watching this latest episode of The Outer Worlds, and I will catch you all in the next one hopefully until then ta-ta thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time cheerio